Hey there everyone, this is James. I'm playing uh, the 26 flagship mod with the Zo CE mod. That's the Captain's Edition mod mod. And I'm going to play another game with the NGB here because the last game was a horrible, awful, miserable, terrible, terrible, like, disaster. I did everything wrong. Um, um, yeah, just everything went wrong. Everything. I think I must have been sleeping while I recorded it or something. So... I'm going to give this another shot, and hopefully it'll be better. And I'll throw in here, I've, I've thought about it a bit, excuse me, and I think a good goal of how I want to record all these is I'm doing an intro video for each of the ships, and I'm doing um, flagship videos. I am recording um, the videos for the rest, like the lead up to the flagship. I think what I'm going to do though is probably because I'm going to have a lot of uh, games that don't reach the flagship. That would be a lot of videos and they take quite a lot of time to um, to record in some cases um, and to upload. What I think I might do is make sure that for each um, one of the for each one of the ship types, of the ship loadout types, that will have one good recording. What I mean by good recording is a, uh, a recording of the ship being demonstrated in action as a proper good example. And once that's shown, I won't bother to uh, record any more for that ship just because it takes so long um, but I'll still upload the flagship fights um, and I think generally that will do just fine because it's the flagship fights that are the most interesting for this and if you get and as far the sh as the ship lo loadouts go the most interesting part is seeing how the ship develops with time so I just want to give one good demo since the last since the last um, last video was not a good demo I'm gonna play this one through so like even if I get to sector six or something like that like that that gives you a good vision of what the ship can do but like yeah like you get the idea I think um so I have eight jumps to do Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I can do one nebula, so I'll go here. Okay. Thinking to myself. If we don't have the extended uh, jump indicator, I highly recommend getting it. It's very much worth your time. That's unfortunate. I don't think I'll get hit again, but I'm still gonna take one more damage. There it is. I'll take, make the depressurize it. Sorry. There's a hull breach somewhere that I've missed. I can hear it. I can hear the nasty hissing sound. Where is it? There it is. I wanted the oxygen to fill all the rooms faster, but discovered this nasty hall breach. Okay, there we go. We're good now. Now, just as the last video, this will take a little bit of time to repair. I mean, it's not ba that bad this time. I, mean, I guess I could pause, but it'll only be a few seconds. See, with this ship, with one crewman, it is complete madness to not have everything, everything repaired before moving on to the next section. To the next beacon, rather. I will do one extra power, because I think I could use it. I want to save 15 bucks. So that if I run into 
an empty beacon, I can produce an AI unit. I'm definitely going to take some damage here. Ouch. Just one more hit and we're good. All is well. She took less damage than I was expecting. move on to here. No threat for this. All he has is a single laser. Well, I mean, I guess like, his bomb could knock on my shields, but I'm not worried. Oh, come on. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Okay, all good. I'll pause it while I repair so I don't bore you. Okay, so we're back. So I need a count. I got six jumps to get to the exit. Two, three, four, five, six. That'll be my plan. Okay, enemy scout. Dead enemy scout. Okay. By the looks of it, the only way he's going to get away is if that bomb were to take out my drone, and it will not, as we can now see. Ouch. I don't really enjoy taking three damage like that, but... Keeps on cha changing his mind about what weapon to use there. Okay, one, two, okay. Right here now. I'll help a civilian. Alright, so my dude is mind control, but fortunately I still got a whopping 8% evasion because of my piloting auto skills. Weapons bay. Let's make sure that it's gone as quickly as possible. There is perhaps some wisdom. Ooh. I was going to say there's perhaps some wisdom to getting an extra. Um. What is it? Brain not working. An extra power on the drone. Just because. It's so easy to lose my drone power when I really need it. But now, with this with this dude and the pilot zone, uh, the engine can go repair it faster without giving up piloting, which is a big deal. Plus, I got someone on the engines. Okay, so I'm going to produce something. Sentient internal AI. There we go. Now we got an AI dude, and he can go to work. You know what? I'm going to put the AI on the engines, and I'll tell you why. I want the NG to be as free to repair things as possible. The more the better. Oh, this is too bad. So, this opponent has two shields. I can't get through. That's that. Nothing I can do about it. Other than run. Sometimes it just works like that. Fortunately, I don't think that I will take any damage from this. We'll find out. Okay, there's one right there. Okay, off we go. That's why pretty much any weapon at all is an appropriate support for this ship. Like, even a single shot weapon will help us to get to through double shields with our drone. And we'll just have to wait, do it the hard way. Find something in due course of time. There we go. 
exit. Ouch. No fun. All right, auto-controlled sector. Well, this is where we can find the Federation ship and the baby version, if you will, of the Rebel flagship. Now, I'm gonna have this AI dude go to the doors. If he's on the doors, we can do this and deoxygenate the place. Oh dear. So here's the Rebel flagship. The question is, does it have one or two shields? Should we dare? All right. Nope, screwed. Can't do anything about it. All right, so we got at least, so um, as I was pointing out about the Rebel flagships, uh, when it comes to the this battle here, you get to see a early profile of what the flagship looks like. So I already know that this this is always based on the number three version, so I already know it has hypnotize, it has cloaking, it doesn't have O2, curiously enough. Um, it has missiles and it has a triple, what would you call that, a triple laser which is swiftly going to make me dead. So, once again, nothing about this game is working out. <laughs> but, in this case, it was completely my fault and I kind of deserve it. I could have easily avoided this fight. I didn't. And it's over. Try again, perhaps? main menu. See you in the next one.